Thanks for watching with us. Summer camps through UW Green Bay will look a little different this year. Emily Byer joins us live with more on that. Morning, Em. Hi, Brooke and Fish. Good morning to you at home. Yes, leaders with UW Green Bay tell us that they are going to be reimagining summer youth camps this summer, and that uh, these camps are going to—they typically take place in person, but this year they will be occurring virtually. Due to COVID-19, they made the decision in mid-April to set up 14 brand new virtual programs that they've never done before. They have something for everyone, including art and STEM, gardening for families. That would be a great camp to take as a household. But also, Camp Lloyd will be virtual this year. That's the grief camp. It's for children who have lost a family member or a loved one. Many of those deadlines to sign up are coming up here the first week of June. Some of the logistics organizers had to work out with sending some of those materials needed to participants. So kind of a fun part of it. They'll be mailing out packages that have those supplies they need. If it's a longer course, like a 10 week course, they may receive more than one package. Folks can also organize to pick it up if they would rather. One of the silver linings with going virtual, some of the camps in the past were maybe only available at certain campuses, such as computer coding. That was only ever available at the Manitowoc Sheboygan campuses. That gardening camp I mentioned, only available in that area as well. And many of these camps won't just be working on a computer. All of the camps, we try to create them as interactive as possible. We know a lot of students are already doing a lot of virtual screen time, and we didn't want them just to have more sit in front of a thing and screen time. So we try to create a lot of interactive activities. So there still will be some screen time, but they're also going to be having things to do on their own time kind of before that next session. And there's an option for high school students looking to get ahead this summer. It's called their Summer Scholars Program. It's roughly four weeks online. Students can earn college credits, and the best part of it comes at a discounted tuition. Another thing that they told me is if those restrictions were to slowly be lifted and children could gather in person in small groups, that is an idea that they maybe would entertain, but these current online courses would happen regardless. We have more information for you on our website, NBC26.com. Brooke, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Emily. Now